Hello everyone, this is Tim with Connected Camps, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get your turtle moving with code. But before we dive into that, uh, we got to do something really quickly, which is going to make our lives so much more easier when working with code on these mining turtles, which is labeling them. And when we label our turtles, every time we break them, we're not going to lose our files or our code that we just put into the turtle. So this is what happens if you... Uh, excuse me, whoops. Well, this is what happens if you break a mining turtle without a label just disappears forever into the void and I'm just placing a new one like placing a fresh mining turtle with no code in it every time so that's not nice because I don't want to retype everything um, and to label your mining turtle we're going to type the command label set and then any label that we want so I'm just going to name my turtle turtle Bob All right so we got Bob the turtle in front of us I'm going to break him and then uh place him back down, break him, pick him up, place him back down. As you can see, this is the same turtle that I've been breaking and picking up, so all the code is, um, you know, still preserved in there. It's the same turtle, it's the same guy, um, or the same, you know, same robot, and uh, I don't have to worry about anything uh, being messed up if I break it or I choose to move our turtle back and forth. So uh, let's get started with coding our movement. So I'm going to open up a file by typing edit. I'm calling the file name Let's Move. You can name it anything you want, but I just think that's a simple file name. And I think following along with the file names we may be throwing out there could be easier, uh, could make it easier on you to follow our tutorials. But that's just a recommendation. You can name it anything you want. Anyway, so I'm going to type the first line of code here, turtle.forward. And I'm going to type the second line of code, turtle.turn right. So I want this turtle to move forward and turn right. But what it, exactly am I writing out here? Uh, Lua is what's known as a object-oriented programming language. So it has the concept of objects, and these objects have methods. And you can think of it as objects are kind of things, and methods are what those things do. So if we were to apply that same idea to kind of you know people, you can think of a person as one object, but eating, sleeping, walking, moving, thinking, all those things are methods that that person object does. Now, computer craft comes in with a lot of prepackaged methods and objects that you can work with right away. In a standard programming language, say you were working with another programming language from scratch and you weren't working with a tool or an environment or anything like that, you would have to define all those objects and methods on your own. Thankfully, ComputerCraft gives us the turtle object and all its movement methods so we can get to coding with it right away. Um, so let's run this program really quickly. Uh, oh, the last thing to note is anytime you want to tell the turtle to do something with this object and method you know, language, um, you type out the object first. In this case, it's the turtle object. And then we put the dot after that or a period and then forward, and the method always has two parentheses at the end. And uh, in a later video, we'll explain why those things exist there, but for now, just know that methods have these two parentheses at the end. So turtle.forward and then turtle.write with the two parentheses at the end. Press control to save, exit, and I'm gonna type in, let's move. And anytime you're moving your turtle just one space, um, well, spoiler, it's gonna move one space, uh, you wanna exit really quickly so you can see it even happen. So I'm gonna type enter, and we can see it move one space forward and turn right. Now the question is, why does it move only one space forward? Well, that's just um, far to place it back down here. That's the way the computer craft uh, API is um, designed. Now an API, like I was saying earlier, is just a fancy way of saying that this computer craft mod comes in with a lot of uh, prepackaged tools, prepackaged objects and methods that let us get coding with it right away so we don't have to start from scratch. So uh, the computer craft API is, hold on, edit, includes all the methods that we need to, you know, talk and interact with our turtle. So the AT API was designed to only move the turtle forward one block if you type turtle.forward. And you also noticed when you told the turtle to turn right, uh, it didn't move forward after turning right. So it's almost like a tank where it stays in one space and it turns without moving forward. So if we want the turtle to move forward after turning, we have to we have to tell the turtle to uh, we have to tell the turtle very explicitly 
to move forward after it turns right. And then when, let's say we want to we want it to turn right, uh, or we want it to move forward two spaces. So we have to type it twice. So each line of uh, turtle dot forward is going to move the turtle forward one block. Um, it doesn't move it, you know, it doesn't move it two blocks, five blocks. It only moves at one space. So I'm going to take run this program. And we can see it moved one block forward and then two blocks to the right uh, after turning. So actually what it does, actually what it did if I were to put it here is it moved this uh, one block forward and then made a right, oh actually it's right here. So it moved one block forward, made a right, and then moved two blocks forward after making the turn. So it worked exactly how we wanted it to, to move. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, type out all the other uh, all the other commands that you need to be familiar with, but please refer to our, uh, you know, our written reference for kind of all the API uh, commands that you'll be familiar with for this particular movement challenge. But also check out the ComputerCraft um, API reference on their website. So if you just search uh, ComputerCraft Wiki API, this is something that you'll be finding yourself doing if you don't go on with programming. You're going to be looking up a lot of documentation. You're going to be looking, asking a lot of questions. On the internet and you're gonna be looking up a lot of references too and uh, that's a really standard part of programming you know not knowing exactly what you're doing sometimes especially when you're learning a new programming language is completely normal so don't be afraid to look up uh, any questions that you have on the internet or you know talk to a lead counselor or you know ask a friend who's more experienced with you that's completely fine and you should never be afraid of uh, you know never be afraid that you're asking a dumb question or something that just seems like you don't know a lot of things that's completely normal so again don't be afraid to look up stuff online don't be afraid to ask questions especially when it comes to uh learning a new programming language it is it is uh kind of tough when you first start out so anyway i'm going to type in turtle dot uh turn left as another command you have to be familiar with and then turtle dot um, well, I'll also type turn right. These are kind of the turn commands. Again, these commands are, or these methods uh, only turn the turtle in place. Do they, they do not move it forward after they turn. It only turns the turtle in place. And another method you should be familiar with is turtle dot um, back. So play around with uh, these lines of code, get your turtle moving exactly the way you want it, and then you know, try putting your turtle in a maze, try making it move through an obstacle course, try making it navigate around the world. Um, and you should be really familiar with these movement methods. And I have a lot of faith that you guys can pick it up really quickly as we um, move on to the next video. We're going to talk more about uh, placing blocks and digging and combining all of that with the movement methods with our turtle. So with that, see you guys in the next video.